This will be tutorial 8 of our R tutorial for data science and machine learning and today we are going to perform linear regression. So we are actually getting into the real data science topics and linear regression is simply a way to make science out of data. So let's take for instance you have a data set, let me, let me take a pen. So you have a data set X and Y. Now the data set could actually be more, maybe X1, X2 or several columns of and several rows. But let's just start from a simple one. We have X and we have Y. You have X1, X2, Y1, Y2, uh, X3, Y3, all the way to, let's say, Xn, Yn. Okay? So already you know that X is called the independent variable, Y is the dependent variable, and that means that uh, Y is equal to F of X. More like y depends on x. But now we don't really know what this function is all about. And linear regression is a way to find out what this function is all about. What is the relationship between x and y? So in case of linear regression, an assumption is made that it is going to be a linear relationship. So what it means is that the equation of this line will simply be uh, mx plus c. So this is the equation of a straight line that you already know from high school. But in case of data science, we don't actually write it in this trivial way. We write it in this way. y is equal to f of x, which is equal to beta 0 plus, this is beta, not b, well beta 1 x. So it's basically the same thing, where m is equal to, uh, is equal to beta one and this is the coefficients okay or slope okay and c is equal to beta zero and this is the intercepts okay so let me explain what happens in linear regression in linear regression if you are given this set of data remember as a data scientist you are you'll be given data sets and you need to make sense out of it so we are, you are given this set of data, what you are going to do is to plot this data on a, a graph. Let's just do, do a plot of this data. Okay, so this is your y and this is your x. Now linear regression, have to, what you now do is to plot the data point. Let's say it gives you this uh, plot here, right? Good. So. After plotting it, you simply draw a line through uh, the data sets. So let's, let me draw a line through the data set so that let's see. Let me take this line. You simply try to draw a line that passes through the data sets. Well, like it have to pass in between the data set. Try to make sure that this line pass through the center as much as possible. So in this case, what we have at this point is the the beta zero and that is the intercept on the x and the y axis and you already know that the slope of a graph can be calculated in this way. So this here we can get the slope from here, okay? So once we know the value of beta zero and beta one, we simply plug it into this equation. So we simply have y is equal to f of x is equal to beta zero plus beta one x. So what it then means is that when you are given a new value of x, let's say x0, you can now determine the value of y. Let's say you are given x0. So what you are going to do is to simply calculate the, the value of y uh, using this equation, right? But even at, uh, outside that, as you mean you don't have this function, but you have this straight line, you can also do the same thing by just taking this a line down here and taking another line down here and you can easily find the value of y. So that is why this line is called a, a regression. Let's, let's just it's called a regression line, okay? So let's now perform this uh, regression in R so that you see exactly how it works. So already I showed you how to get data sites and today we are going to be getting using data sites that is available in R. So that data site is in the mass package. So already you know what a, a package is. So this package, if we go to, to mass, this is mass, 
If we go down, you can see Boston. So we are going to be using this Boston data set. It contains housing data uh, of, of, of Boston. Yeah, yeah, 506 rows and 14 columns. So after installing the mass package, you can get the data set easily. So I already explained how to install this package. So this package is already installed. So Boston data set is already available. So if I say fix, uh, fix, and I say Boston, I could easily view this data as you can see. So what we are going to do in this demo, we are going to do a linear regression to find the relationship between uh, let's see between the the medium va uh, value the L stat and the medium value. I, I don't really know what they are. You can actually read them up. So we're interested in performing linear regression. The the, the L stat and the med MEDV. Now to perform linear regression, we are going to in R, I will just write down the syntax so that you'll be able to do it yourself. So the syntax is this way. You use lm dot fits and you perform a linear regression of y tilde symbol x. Uh, so, so, okay, let me write it clearly. So this is tilde, tilde symbol on the keyboard x, right? Good. So this is how, what's happened? So basically, let me, lm.feeds, okay, and you give y tilde symbol x, and then you specify your data. So this will return a linear model. So you can actually assign this to, you can actually assign this to an object. So maybe I did not get it right, I think. Let me let, let me write it out in R so that it becomes clear. So what we are going to do is we use lm.feeds is equal to lm. Lm is name of the function. Then you specify, so we are saying that I'm going to write m, our x value will be uh, stats. L stats and our y value will be MEDB as we saw uh, in the data set. <clears throat> so we are going to use, we are saying that, all right, so the LM function will take y till the symbol x, then you specify your data. So I'm going to say MEDB. Uh, tilde symbol L stats. Okay, good. So now I have lm.feed to contain to be a linear regression object. So let me just write it out. Uh, let me write it out here. So you have lm specify y tilde symbol x. So and then you can assign it to some variable uh, on the side. So actually I've written the formula for you so you can always use it. Now this MEV and LSTAT, they are, they are inside this data set. So I could actually omit the data part of it. So just specify Y till the symbol X. That is as simple as that. So how do we now know the, the coefficients and the, the, the intercept and the coefficient? You simply uh, view the values of lm.feet, lm.feet, and now it gives us what we want. So we have the intercept is 34.55 and the slope is minus 0.95. So what it means is that this function f of x equals the beta 0 is the intercept, so we have 34, 34. 0.55 minus 0.95. Did I get it? X. Yeah, perfect. So this is the equation for this data we have. So this relationship between 
uh, MEDV and LSTAT. So let's write it in, in, the, in, the, in the more way. So you have function of LSTAT equal to 34.55 minus 0 0.95 MEDV. So if we can actually interpret this. So what it means is that for each unit of LSTAT, we have a, a minus negative 0 0.95 of MEDV. So this is the relationship between these two variables, and we actually have performed linear regression and provided the regression model. So I would like to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. This is one of the core areas of uh, machine learning and data science because everything derives from regression. In the next uh, lesson, we now look at polynomial regression, and then we go further to see uh, to learn about multiple linear regression or multivariate direct, uh, uh, regression. So remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and also feel free to leave a comment for me to let me know what you think.